So welcome to Creativity School. And we're going to draw like some parts of a basketball game. And hopefully you guys can draw the basketball game that you want. How it works is that we look at the list of sight words as always, and we draw the objects and we make the story from words and pictures. So today's words are basketball hoop, basketball, water bottle, team players, score, bleachers in the audience, cheering for the team, a scoreboard, bouncing the ball, and a referee. And always remember your shapes so you can help me draw the picture without me having to see what you're doing. You describe the shape that it is. And when you don't know how something looks, we can find a picture of it, of the picture reference, and figure out what kind of shapes it has. Do you know how to make a basketball hoop? Yeah. And I'm making it not so big because I'm thinking it's going to be really tall. And what else should go on the rectangle? How, how would we make it look like it has that those strings in the bottom? And then the, yeah, down the other way too. So it's kind of like a waste basket or it's kind of like the fence we did. Do you know what shape goes in the, on the backboard, which is the right next to that oval? Like usually there's a shape here. What shape is that? And how do we make it look like it's tall, like on a stand? Yeah, so like a long rectangle, however tall you want it to be. You don't have to do it the same. And the bottom can be so many different ways. You can put like a shape at the bottom, like you could put a rectangle. You can make it, like if this is an outdoor hoop on the outside, you could just make it coming out of the ground like that. Have you ever seen the basketball hoops that are shaped you don't have to change your picture, but I am just gonna show you really fast. Have you ever seen the ones that are shaped like curvy at the top? Sometimes I see them, has anyone seen them like this before? I just remembered. I feel like sometimes they're like this. Have you ever seen them like this? So if you want to do it like that, you can. If you want to make a rectangle, you can. You could keep it a rectangle. So it's up to you. This is like an outdoor one. And do you remember how to make a basketball? Yeah. So we'll make one like almost going in the hoop. Like You could put yours anywhere, by the way. And then there are lines. Do you, do you know if the lines are curved or straight on this ball? They're curved. So make two curved lines like this and a curved or straight line in the middle. And then you could put a straight line across here. And that is our basketball. How do we draw a body? Okay. I want this to be kids playing basketball. So I'm gonna put kind of a small body. So a rectangle, but the edges are curved. What shape is the head? All right. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna put the head a little bit to the side, tiny bit, cause it's like the person's looking up. What shape are legs? Like what rectangle like this and like this type thing, okay. Right, and so we've got bent legs. And what about the feet? What shape are these? Half circle, like coming out of there. How about arms? Are they like ovals or rectangles? What kind of shape would we use? So curved rectangle. So you can make it 
arms extended like you just threw, he or she, or you can make it, let me see if I can make it bent, a little bent. I'm gonna make mine slightly bent. But I'm putting mine like this because the person just threw it. I'll put the other arm off the side. And how do we make hands? A mitten shape, okay. Yeah, we could do that for hands. So we can have mitten hands. If you don't want details, which I kind of don't want, I kind of like the mitten hands. Could do that. How about hair? Puppy hair, huh? All right, I'm gonna make my character, huh? How will I, uh, maybe I'll make mine have puffy curly hair too. Or you can make them have um, whatever hair you want. So I'm gonna make a little some messy hair like this. But it's up to you. If you don't want to draw this kind of hair, you don't have to. This is just a kid with kind of messy hair. So you can make it however you want. My character will look like this. We'll have like bangs. I don't know what I'm doing now. There you go. Messy hair kid. How about eyes? How about a nose? How about a mouth? Like a triangle like this? Oh, okay. So he's happy. He's like, I'm gonna make it. You can decide how you want the your kid to be clothed. So if you wanna take away long sleeves, you could take those away and make them short sleeves if you want. And you can make a jersey too. So decide what kind of clothes do you want your kid to still have. Everyone can make their kid how they want. Do you want your kids to still have pants or do you want to erase this? Okay, let's put 20, hmm, maybe on his shirt. I'm thinking like this, kind of like a backward C, but then it attaches here. Two and zero. Oh, my zero is a little cut off. So you can choose to have him wear shorts or long pants. Pick an outfit. You could even make this character a girl if you want. You could put like a headband on there. This is a cute character. I'm gonna move him like right here. And I'm wondering, if we could have like another character who is like here in this area, who's like trying to block. What shape body will this character have? It doesn't have to have the same shape as the other one, or if you want it to, it can. Okay, and then semicircle, rectangle. So here's the body of the other character. And what shape is their head again? I'm gonna have him, this circle sort of up, way off to the side here because he will also be looking at the ball, he or she. So what do the legs look like if they're legs that were just jumping? Yeah, you know an easier way is if you just do a curved line. And there's a bent leg right there. So it's almost like a rectangle that's been curved. How about um, feet? Well, this kid is so high. Yeah, we'll put oval feet. And I'm gonna put the feet in this direction to show that he's not on the ground. And then how about, how do we make one arm up, straight up? What shape is an arm? Yeah, so here's like a rectangle arm going up. And what shape is the hand? Yeah, we could do a circle. So if their thumb is here, then the hand is here. You can make fingers or you can make it a mitten. 
I'm gonna put the other arm, would they be doing this? Does that make sense? One arm straight down, one arm straight up, trying to block it. When people are blocking, they are often trying to jump up and hit this ball. You know, see, I'll, he's got some action here. <laughs> he's jumping up and he's trying to do that. Can you help me with the missing hand? What shape is the hand again? Circle, yeah. So one hand this way. So, oh, I forgot. I'm going to add a ear first. Oh, can you tell me the hair? We forgot to do the... Gosh, like zigzag bangs like this. Huh, I'm not a big fan of that. I'm gonna try again. So this person has like zigzaggy bangs. And then what about eyes? Okay, so circle. I'm even gonna add eyebrows. And what about a nose? Okay. And you know what, to match this character, I'm gonna make the eyes like that character because that one character has eyes like this, so I'm gonna match it where there's a circle around it. And how about, what kind of mouth will this person have? Okay. <laughs> Here's my question before we draw this audience. Are these kids outside or inside? So if this is outdoors, he's saying bleachers and bleachers are, what is the shape of a bench? You can either just make two lines or make this rectangle shape. If you have like bleachers, all you're gonna do is make that one bench and then make another bench behind it a little bit higher. Same thing, just a little bit higher up there. And then one right above, kind of like stairs. So these are kind of like long rectangular shapes, but they're actually parallelograms. They have their sides over. How do we make people sitting on them? How do we make sitting legs? Yeah, the curves. So we can have people sitting and everyone knows how we make the people. So when you make your people, and we know how to make people, make whoever you want. They could be your friends. I am just making simple rectangle and circle arms and then go ahead and make your hair however you want. You can even make people walking up like the game hasn't started yet and they're just like walking from over here. Since it's outdoors, if you want to, you can add a fence. How do we make their body? Okay. How do we make, um, oh, how do we make a head? A circle. So this cheerleader is a kid because I need the head kind of big. Um, and jumping up, was that curved legs? Yeah. How about the arms? Okay. So up. Mine looked like this, but there are so many ways to do pom-poms. 
If you know a better way, you can do that way, but this is the way I figured. And do you want this cheerleader to be just dressed like this with long sleeves and pants? Oh, okay. So we know how to do a basketball, so. How about hair? Wavy lines, okay. So here's like a wavy line. And I am going to put a pigtail kind of in front of her. In front of her arm like that. How about um, eyes? Okay, and then the eye will be here. Now what shape should a nose be? Okay. I'm gonna make a circle. I'm gonna even make, to make mine happy, I'm gonna put a little at the top like, oh man, she is cheering loud. Or if yours is a boy, yours can, mine is a girl cheering so loud. Her mouth is wide open. Oh, and she's jumping, so I'm gonna make, I mean, actually, wherever people are jumping, I'll make little jumping marks. Wasn't that fun? And wasn't that simple and easy? All right, so if you liked that video, please hit the like button and hit the subscribe button so you won't miss out on any of our videos. We make videos every single week. And we have a special step-by-step -step guide for you in the link below. So go ahead and click the link below and download it. And we'll see you next time at Creativity School.